Hey guys, it's Hazel here with Wish Trend TV. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and please like this video and please keep watching. Okay, so for many of you guys, you might have dry skin or you might be wondering, do I have oily skin? You might have both or you might be confused. So I'm sure many of you guys have both types of skin and what this actually is called is combination skin. So it's actually where someone has both types of skin and you might think about, uh, do I need more moisture or do I need more oil? Um, it's complicated. You don't really understand what kind of types you need. So let me just quickly explain the characteristics of this kind of skin type. So you're usually oily around your T-zone or your forehead or your nose and you're kind of dry in areas such as your U-zone and your cheeks. And especially for weather changes like these days, you're usually oily but dry in some areas so you get irritated skin quite easily. So that is why we prepared the subject for you today. Dun, 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 dun. So how to deal with combination skin for beginners and five signs that you actually have combination skin. So please keep tuned in. Now first, we have to find out whether you have combination skin. So I'm gonna talk about five things and see if you can relate to them. So number one, depending on the weather changes, the T-zone area on your face can change, meaning the level of oiliness can kind of change. Number two, your nose pores are much larger than your chin or cheek pores. So number three, you may have dried skin, but you often get troubled spots. Number four, your forehead and nose may be oily, but the area around your mouth and your eyes may have a lot of wrinkles. And finally, for number five, you may have dry hair, um, but if you don't wash it for even one day, your scalp gets really sticky. Okay, so you've heard all of the wonderful signs to figure out whether you're a combination of skin. But you're still like, eh, I'm still not sure if I have combination skin. But hang on, let me show you a quick self-test to see if you have combination skin. Ta-da! So all you really need is oil paper. So after you cleanse and wash your face, Leave your face dry for about three hours without any skincare products. Now then, take the oil paper and press it against your skin. And if you don't have any oils, then you're likely to have dry skin. Now, if you have oil pressed all over your skin, you're likely to have oily skin. Now this is the important part. If your T-zone has oil, but your U-zone doesn't have oil, then you can count yourself as combination skin. So now I'm gonna talk about how to manage combination skin types. So like I mentioned before, combination skin types, you can either have oily or dry skin, but that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, my T-zone is always oily or my U-zone is always dry. So there are two different types of combination skin. And depending on what type of combination skin you have, it's really important to manage your skin according to your combination skin type. So depending on what type of combination skin you have, it's really important to pick the type of skincare products you use and important to manage your skin type according to your combination skin type. So the most common type of combination skin is where your T-zone is oily and your U-zone is dry. So for those of you who have oily, dehydrated skin, you probably didn't know you were categorized as combination skin type. So today I'm going to talk about the most common combination skin type where your T-zone is oily and your U-zone is dry. So I'm gonna talk about the characteristics of this kind of type of combination skin, how to choose your skincare products, as well as recommend some great skincare products for you. So the U-zone area, which consists of the cheeks and chin area, uh, is pretty thin in keratin. Now the T-zone area, which consists of the forehead and nose area, is pretty thick in keratin, so you tend to build up more sebum and more oiliness. Now let's see how to choose products. 
So you should choose skin products according to oily skin type. It's important to find a product that has the least amount of oiliness, therefore it will balance the amount of oil uh, and moisture around your face, especially around the oily areas. Okay, so although there may not be any oil substance, but try to find a product that has a lot of moisture. Use it twice daily around your U-zone because that area can get pretty dry. Now, when you choose a toner, try to find a toner that has ingredients that already exist in your skin, containing an antioxidant ingredient which gives you more moisture, especially after cleansing your skin, it may become dry. And also a toner that will clean all the excess sebum or any kind of waste you have left over on your skin. So the first toner I wanted to introduce to you is the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water by Wish Trend. So it contains ingredients that already exist in our skin, the hyaluronic acid and the antioxidant ingredient beta-glucan, which helps balance the combination skin types. It's derived from almonds, so as one of the AHA ingredients, and it helps with improving the skin tone and smoothly and calmly gets rid of the keratin. And not just getting rid of the keratin, it actually boosts moisturizing the skin. So it contains antibacterial properties to prevent as well as smooth inflammatory acne. So the next toner I wanted to introduce is the Skin Miso Pore Purifying Toner. So this toner helps calm and smooth irritated skin after cleansing and it really helps out clean out those keratin and waste in your pores. So it actually manages the excess sebum and keratin created from low pH toner. And after cleansing, it really balances your pH level. Now when we try to choose serums, try to find a serum that is really light in texture and that won't block any of your pores. A suitable amount of moisture can actually reduce the sebum secretion and actually control the oiliness. But it's important to not to use too much around the T-zone area. So the first serum I want to introduce is the I'm From Magnolia Wake Essence. So it's more of a watery and very light formation and it's not sticky, but it actually keeps your dry face very moist. The serum actually increases the moisture, but also lessens the oiliness, so it kind of balances it out. So this serum actually really helps brightening the skin and it actually gives a very soft magnolia scent. So it gives like a soft aroma effect as well. Okay, so the next serum is the Skin Miso Pore Corset Serum. So this serum is also like a flowy and a watery type which actually penetrates very well into the skin. So it really controls the excess pores you have as well as maintain them. So you might kind of feel like a pore tightening effect after 10 minutes of this. So it kind of feels like you're actually getting a facial skincare. So use this all around your face except for the T-zone. Um, after you use it, just lightly tap it around the T-zone as your last step. So if you feel oiliness around your T-zone area, it's best to just use a serum around that area instead of a moisturizer. But it's best to use a moisturizer for the U-zone area for the dry area. So the product I want to introduce to you is the Claire's Supple Preparation All Over Lotion. Now this is a lotion type moisturizer and in this product there's more moisture compared to oil and after using this product you can immediately find a rich hydration as well as a fresh finish. And you might think uh, it kind of sounds a little sticky but it's actually not sticky at all compared to the richness it gives you. And what's best is it's alcohol and paraben free, so it's quite mild to the skin. Now with this cream, it's best to layer it twice around the cheek area to keep it fully moisturized. Now for the oily dehydrated skin types. Now, if you need moisture on your skin, but also you have oily skin, like I said before, you're a combination skin type. You may see oiliness outside of the skin, however, the inner layer is actually dry. Actually, this type of skin is hardest to manage, and you might find your skin irritated easily and hard to manage. Now, these are some tips on how to choose products. It's very important to find a product that doesn't have oil or alcohol, but penetrates very well into the skin. Also, rather than trying to find a heavy type of skincare product, try to find a light texture skincare product. 
This will control the oiliness as well as moisture penetrating into the skin. Plus tip, so just because you feel oily on the outside of your skin, using too much powder or oil paper may cause your skin to think, oh, I need more oil, and therefore letting the oils come out more. So therefore, trying to make your skin dry is the last thing you want to do. Now, if you have any additional concerns or questions about oily, dehydrated skin type, uh, please let us know in the comment box and we will try to answer your questions or try to answer them in our next video as well. Well, I hope this video really helped for you combination skin types out there. And please let us know what kind of additional videos or topics you would like to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in our next video guys. Thank you! Bye.